Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday march 7th 2022 i hope you enjoyed your fabulous weekend now let's take a relaxing brain break to kick off this amazing week for today's brain break in the seal technique we will be showing you a little skit representing respecting other people's culture Ew, what is that? Is that your food? Yeah, my mom packed me kimchi. Wanna try some? No, that smells really disgusting. Oh, well, should I go? Yes, thank you very much. As we see so far, Randy disrespects Vani's culture by criticizing her cultural dish. That made Vani feel absolutely terrible. Even something as small as a dish, you should respect other people's culture. Now, let's continue. Hey, I overheard what you were saying to Vani. I don't know if you know, but that was very disrespectful. Vani was eating a dish that belongs to her culture, and I think we should all respect each other's culture because that's a part of who we are. I guess you're right. I'll go apologize right now. Yeah. I'm sorry for how I was earlier. I was being very careless with my words. Sorry if I offended you. Yeah, I was a little hurt because this is a part of my culture. Yeah, I should really be careful for what I say. Well, thank you for apologizing. Yeah, you're welcome. Remember, even something as small as a dish, you should respect other people's culture. You'll never know how it makes the other person feel. Because if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. If you ever see yourself in this kind of situation, just respect each other. So I'll luck with us next time for our next brain break and a sale technique. It's now time for our Word of the Day segment. I failed my test today because I squandered my time last night by playing video games instead of studying. I told you not to waste your time playing video games, but you don't listen. I know, I know. I really regret not studying, but, um, I was wondering, can you help me study for my retest? Of course, but next time try not to. Squander or waste my time. I know. Alright, well let's get studying. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. day. Now that I think about it, it's kind of rude to squander the extra food. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks Valencia. Sports fans, today on Sports Equipment Origins, we take a closer look at the dart. The game of darts is most popular in Europe and the inventor is said to be an English guy by the name of Brian Gamlin. Darts were first made of large crossbow bolts or arrows in England. The French shrunk it down to a much smaller barrel like pieces that eventually were changed to metal. The flight, or small aerodynamic fin at the back of the dart, were made from turkey feathers, later changed to plastic. These days, modern darts come in varying weights and types of materials. There are even plastic kid versions. These things may be small, but they are very sharp, so make sure not to try this at home without an adult. There sure are a lot of dart-tastic things about this topic. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is... Chicken dunkers, parmesan marinara sauce, breadstick, baked beans, applesauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go back to Valencia! Thank you, Sonia. That sounds tasty. The Globe Party is on March 16th. To go, you need 25 past lessons in reading and math I read you. The due date is this Friday, so make sure to get your lessons done if you want to go to this Globetastic party. I can't wait. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today you should expect 82 degrees Fahrenheit with some clouds covering our skies. 
In other weather news, we've discovered something amazing. In Thailand, a hidden sand walkway only appears at low tide. This sand stretch goes on for over a mile, crossing the waters of Fangna Bay. People are calling it the Dragon's Back Dune because of its resemblance to a dragon's back. People who want to check it out can ride a boat and then walk freely through the sand. Now let's go to Destiny and Chanel for today's Hot Topic. Thank you, Randy. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Happy Women's History Month. Women's History Month started last week, Tuesday, and ends March 31st. Take the time to celebrate and appreciate the wonderful women around you. Time to celebrate our wonderful history. Hey, Destiny. Did you know that today's a national day? Nope. It's National Cereal Day. You can enjoy a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch on the couch or enjoy Lucky Charms on the go. Reese's Puff cereal is definitely my favorite. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat em up, eat em up, eat em up, eat em up. WWE 2K22 is coming this Friday and has huge improvements like new characters, realistic graphics, unique environments, and so much more. I definitely can't wait to buy it. Me too. A new movie is on the way. Turning Red is a Pixar movie that will be released on March 11th. May Lin Lee was a fun-going teen until she woke up as a red panda. Through her crazy journey, she discovers a whole new side to herself. Sounds like a fun ride. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go to Aiden for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Veronica Battle, Neilani Uyoa, Johan Lamy, Fatima Juarez, and Alil Jimenez. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Aiden. Scholars, hear your past expectations they represent. Present yourself positively. Act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Silvera, Miss Carmenate, Miss Onley, Miss Carter, Miss Samuel, Miss Ayan Dinkwa, Miss Newton, Miss Manon, Miss Cavalita, Miss Stone, and Miss Velez. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, what are the four Hogwarts houses? The correct answer is Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What is the smallest breed of a dog? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!